Welcome to the National Bowling Academy. My name is Dan Trisky. I am a USBC certified silver level coach. With me today is Doug O'Brien. Doug is also a USBC certified silver level coach. He's also on the PBA 50 tour and he's also a certified ball driller. So Doug has got a lot of experience and a lot of knowledge of what we're gonna talk about today. And that would be improving your style of bowling. A lot of times, you know, when we get dealing with the youth bowlers, you know, we hear a lot of times that they want to maybe bowl like somebody else. They want to bowl like an EJ tag. They want to throw the ball like a Daria, or if you're two-handers, you know, like a Belmo. What are your thoughts on that? Yes, Dan, they do. Uh, we all have our favorite bowlers out on tour. Uh, so the kids come in and they see these guys on tour really dominating, throwing a lot of strikes. Of course, we all want to emulate that. Uh, as a youth at that age, they possibly can do that. Uh, if they have a lot of work uh, and a lot of coaching, they can develop the, the high rev or two-handed high rev deliveries uh, if they work hard at it. Uh, so we, we try to help them with that. Uh, but for the, for, the old, for the older adults, uh, these guys are younger than us. So we have to uh, develop our own game and work hard and try to improve. Uh, no, one, no one's too good to improve. So uh, we try to help, uh, help all of our students improve with what they got or what they're trying to achieve. Because quite honestly, there is no cookie cutter approach that there's not a one size fits all that this can fix everything. We need to take each person's individual game and make improvements with their game. So as you know, you get, we talked about the youth, you can teach the youth to get a little bit higher rev rate. You know, you can uh, teach a two handed bowler to, you know, maybe get a little bit more rev rate on their ball or, or play different parts of the lane. For me as an adult and a middle-aged man, my, me growing up, my favorite bowler was Brian Voss because he had absolutely just perfect form, style that I was kind of taught. I see Brian on TV, this is a guy that I want to be like. You know, it's pretty simple. Sure. And I still like his game today, sure. you know. But I need to work within my means and I'm still constantly trying to make improvements as a middle-aged man. Sure, and we can, we, can, we can develop our games to be better, but ultimately we're all individual people. We all have our own uh, fingerprint, as you want to say. Everybody's different. No two bowlers are the same. So we got to take what we've got and improve on that. And that comes with practice and learning, uh, bettering our fundamentals and going from there. You know, so we really don't, ultimately we don't want to be complacent. If you want to improve, then you know what? Yeah, we have to go out and be willing to make changes. Sure. Because if we're going to be complacent, I mean, you, we're not going to go up, we're not going to go down. We're going to kind of stay where we're at. Stay exactly where but if we're at. willing to make changes, then that's where we're going to make improvements. How, how much do you want it? How hard are you willing to work to be better? And the best bowlers in the world now still practice. They didn't get to a point and say, okay, I'm good, no more practice. Walter A, Parker Bond, they all practice when they get a chance. Even, it, even with what they've achieved to this point, they're still practicing and they still got coaches helping them to be better. So ultimately, in order for us to improve our style of bowling or to improve and maybe get to that next level or improve our average by 10 pins, we need to sit down, we need to be able to do the work, maybe be able to make some changes. Sure. Got to be willing to change if you want to improve, no doubt about that.